Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW or the Weight Watchers Blue Plan. Happy Monday, it's a Monday so it's meal prep day. I have three really good summer fresh vibe recipes for you. We have breakfast, lunch and a sweet treat. So if you're excited for another what I eat in a day, give this video a big huge thumbs up and don't forget if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed, of course I would absolutely love to have you here hit the subscribe button and don't forget to click the bell next to it so you never miss a single video. Check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching. I do offer personalized to you macros and calories. Highly recommend taking advantage of this service as well as if as well as individual coaching if you want to chat with me one-on-one. -on -one. Links, discounts to everything I shared with you in today's video, as well as all of my other favorite things and my Facebook group. Head on over, join that community. We'd love to have you there as well, are all linked in that description box. So let's jump into this week's WW Meal Prep. For breakfast this week, I am making baked oatmeal. Now this is a totally different recipe that I've done in the past. This one has a little bit of a crumble on top. It also has some nuts for some healthy fat. So let me show you what's in our baked oatmeal. First, you're going to need some rolled oats, almond milk or milk of your choice, cinnamon, vanilla extract, a couple of small frozen bananas or one large frozen banana, eggs, light butter, sugar-free maple syrup. You guys know I don't do sugar-free other than this Lakanto. This one is so good. And the sugar alternative is monk fruit, which is my favorite. This is the cinnamon maple. So I think this is going to go really nicely with this baked oatmeal. You can pick this up on the Lakanto website. I will put it down below for you with a 15% off discount. I'm going to use pecans. These are from Nutstop. I also have 10% off for Nutstop down in the description box as well. It's not an affiliate link just 10% off for you if you want to support a small business. I love Nutstop as you know. You could really use any nut, walnut, pecan, whatever your preference. And then you're going to need some frozen mixed berries. So into a large bowl we're going to add half of a cup of sugar-free maple syrup, one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract, the recipe calls for a teaspoon of cinnamon. I'm just going to eyeball it and probably add more like a tablespoon or a tablespoon and a half. Two eggs. A quarter cup of light butter melted and two cups of almond milk or whatever milk alternative you're using. And then we're going to stir this together until fully mixed. Now we're going to stir in three cups of rolled oats and our sliced frozen banana. And lastly, fold in your frozen berries. I went ahead and sprayed my 8x8 baking dish with some nonstick cooking spray. Now we're going to add the baked oatmeal mixture. I have three quarters of a cup of my chopped pecans and I'm just going to sprinkle those right over the top. We're then going to take about a tablespoon of butter and kind of break it up and just drop it on top of the baked oatmeal. And lastly, I'm going to drizzle about a tablespoon more, just kind of right over the top. And then this is going into a 375 degree oven for about 35 to 45 minutes or until it is baked and golden brown. I just pulled out the baked oatmeal. Look how delicious this looks with those pecans on top. This whole entire batch makes eight servings. So let's go over the points and I'll put the calories here on the screen for you. One eighth of the baked oatmeal with the nuts, whether you use pecans or walnuts, is seven points on the blue and green plan and only two points on purple because you don't have to count for the oats. Now, if you skip the nuts, it is four points on the blue and green plan and only one point on purple. So I'm gonna have this each day this week, probably with some fruit and maybe some eggs. For my lunch this week, I'm actually making a lemon basil orzo with chicken 
but I'm substituting lime in place of lemon because I'm completely out of lemon juice. So mine's going to actually be a lime basil chicken orzo. So let me show you what's in lunch. First you're going to need lime or lemon juice. You can also use a fresh lemon or lime, garlic powder, salt, pepper, fresh basil leaves, chicken breast or chicken tenders, light butter, minced garlic, an onion, a dry white wine, so I'm just using Chardonnay, orzo pasta, and Parmesan cheese. The first thing I am doing in a medium sized saucepan is I'm bringing some water to a boil and then we're going to go ahead and cook up our orzo pasta. I went ahead and added my chicken to a paper towel and I've just been patting it dry and we're going to mix up some seasonings to add to our chicken. So I'm going to add some pepper, salt, and garlic powder and stir that together and we're going to sprinkle this over the patted dry chicken. Spray it with some non stick cooking spray. We're going to add our seasoned chicken to the pan and allow it to brown. And I have my water coming to a boil for my orzo. So we want to cook our chicken until it's cooked all the way through on both sides. And then we're going to remove it and add it to a plate. And our orzo, we want to cook it al dente. You don't want to overcook. So once it's al dente, we're going to drain it and set it aside. Into that same pound pan over medium high heat, we're going to add two tablespoons of butter and the chopped onion. Allow that to cook down for one to two minutes. Then we're adding in the one cup of wine. We want it to reduce down to about a third of the liquid. So take your spoon or spatula and really scrape up all those bits off of the bottom of the pan from the chicken. That's just going to add a ton of flavor. After it's deglazed and it's about a third of the amount of liquid, you're going to add in your lemon or lime juice and remove it from the heat. So I went ahead and added the cooked orzo to a large bowl. We're going to add in that onion mixture, a pinch of salt and pepper, and then go ahead and give that a quick stir to make sure those onions get mixed in and the orzo gets coated in that glaze. We're then going to add one cup of Parmesan cheese and about a half of a cup of torn basil leaves. I ended up doing a cup because basil is my favorite herb, so I wanted as much as I could get in my pasta. Stir that together until incorporated. So here's the orzo pasta. Doesn't this look absolutely delicious with those fresh basil leaves. And then here is the cooked up chicken. We want to keep it separate from the pasta. And when you serve up a portion of the pasta each day, you'll go ahead and top it with a serving of the chicken. The entire batch of the basil orzo with chicken makes six servings. It is eight points on the blue and purple plan and 10 points on the green plan. Now, if you could find a whole wheat or whole grain orzo, it would lower the points on the purple plan. I can't wait to have this. You could top this with some extra basil leaves or Parmesan cheese, but this is my lunches this week. For dessert this week, I'm making fresh strawberry crisp. I'm so excited for this. A very, very summery recipe. Let me show you what's in the strawberry crisp. First, you're going to need vanilla extract, two pounds of fresh strawberries, brown sugar substitute. As always, I'm using the Lakanto Golden. And again, I'll make sure Lakanto is linked down below with a discount code. Rolled oats, all-purpose flour. You can do a fresh lemon, so you can use the zest. I'm out of lemon, so I'm just going to use lemon juice. You'll also need cornstarch, and then sweetener substitute of your choice. Again, mine is the Lakanto Monk Fruit. The first thing I'm going to do is haul and chop up two pounds of fresh strawberries. Now that we have quartered and hold our strawberries, we're going to add half of a cup of our sweetener, two tablespoons of cornstarch, 
about a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and a tablespoon of lemon juice. Stir that up to make sure that those strawberries are coated in that cornstarch. To a greased eight by eight or nine by nine baking dish, we're going to add in the strawberries. Then to a medium sized bowl, we're going to add three quarters of a cup of rolled oats, one half a cup of all purpose flour, a quarter cup of the brown sugar substitute packed, quarter cup of the monk fruit or your sweetener, one tablespoon of lemon juice, and if you were using a fresh lemon, you would want to add some of the zest as well. Then in true gen fashion, I forgot to tell you that you'll need half of a cup of melted light butter. Then we're going to stir this together and it's going to form a crumble that we're going to add to the top of our strawberries. Now we're just going to drop this right on top of these strawberries. My crumble ended up being a little bit more wet, so I would recommend using even less melted butter, maybe about a quarter of a cup, and that would save you on points as well. But we're going to put this in a 350 degree oven for 30 to 40 minutes or until it's hot and bubbly. I just pulled the strawberry crisp out of the oven. Look how delicious this looks. You could top this with ice cream or whipped cream. You could even have this for breakfast. It looks so good. So the points on this are the recipe makes six servings. It is four points per serving on blue and green and three on purple just because the little bit of oats on top you don't have to count for on the purple plan. So this is going to be our sweet treat for the week. Thank you for joining me on this week's WW Meal Prep. I hope you are as excited as I am about these three summer inspired recipes. I'll tell you that the baked oatmeal is phenomenal. I've already had that and I plan on having a little bit of that strawberry crisp for dessert tonight. All three recipes will be on my recipe website which is linked down in that description box along with nutrition coaching, my Facebook group, and links and discount codes to all of my favorite things. So definitely check out my recipe website so you can recreate these recipes for yourself. If you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and don't forget if you haven't yet subscribed we'd love to have you join our community. Hit the subscribe button and the bell next to it so you don't miss a single video. Happy Monday, and I'll see you next time. Bye.